nice picture. But who are all those people? I personally know one of them. This fine gentleman here. But who are all these other people? I have sources that could tell me who some of them are. But most of them, or at least half of them, I have no clue. And if I'm doing some kind of research on my family history, I'd like to know. Well, that's where lost and found photos comes into play. Let's switch to our web browser. And we'll type in www.abetterreality.net. That'll take you to our corporate homepage of photographics. You want to go right down here to the top, bottom right corner, click on Lost and Found Photos. We have a brief introduction, which you've already read, and I'll click here to begin. This will take us to a bulletin board or a posting site, a place basically forms as a community. And there is a help section, how to post photos, how to help others find and identify about the website, questions and comments. So if you have a question about how it works, you post it there. But definitely go to the how to post photos before anything else. Photo and document restoration, which is just a little cross promo for our photo restoration services. Right here, I want you to click on photos, not browse or post lost photos. First click on photos, because then you'll be able to see all the categories within the browse section. So we have unknown country, state or town. So that doesn't matter what, whether it's an unknown origin of any country. Uh, or region in the world. We have Africa as a region, Antarctica as its own, Asia, Caribbean islands, Central America, Europe, North America, Pacific Islands, and South America. Then we can click right here on browser post lost photos and then we'll see the entire listing of every single country. I recommend that you go instead, like I showed you here when you're on the main page, just clicking on the photos. So you'll just get the categories. Then, as we know, this picture, I know it is from Chicago, Illinois, in the United States, which is North America. Clicking on North America now. I can scroll down to the state of Illinois. click on new topic and it says I need to log in so I created a login already for myself and if you would in order for you to post you also have to log in this this allows people's privacy to be protected and of course you do your password click log in we have been logged in Let's go to the previous page, post a new topic. Now I know this was a Salvation Army picture, so I'll type in Salvation Army Band, and then I'm going to say Southside, Chicago, with a question mark. Well, I do know it is a, the South Side of Chicago. Next, we want to type in whatever specific information. I know the gentleman with uh, glasses. His name is Frank Anderson. I need to know who is on the far top right corner now I have to upload the picture click down here upload attachment and simply browse it and I happen to have this on my desktop 
and I always place your photo on that desktop ahead of time. I can add some information about the picture and this is an 8 by 10 very sharp in focus. Click the add file button and then it starts to load up that attachment. And I would like to click in the topic area and hit return twice. That gives me a space right here. See my cursor. Click the place in line, and it will actually put the attachment right in that that uh, subject. Click the preview button to see how it will look, and here's my post. Everything I typed in, as you see. So let's submit. View submitted message. And there it is. Now, generally, other people will go in throughout the website and they may find this photo in here. They may even do a search for something called Salvation Army. If I want to edit, I can simply click this edit button and change some of the text, add something. And let's say I'm someone else. I'm, I'm not uh, the one who posted it, but there's someone else that says, oh, I know who that is. I can help them. You can click one of these buttons, the private message button or the email button to send that person a message. Or simply click post reply. I know that is my, let's say, uncle, Joe Smith. And I'm just going to say this is a test because this is actually being done on the website. And submit to view that submitted message. And there it is, right there at the bottom, my response. And that's how simple it is. So we invite you to get into the Lost and Found Photos website and make sure that you experiment and you give us some feedback post your questions and comments in the welcome section where it says questions or comments.